Just one year ago, the world of quantum computing was making waves, but in 2023, it wasn't ripples anymore. It was a full-blown tidal wave of progress. Get ready to celebrate World Quantum Day 2024 with a look back at just how far we've come. From groundbreaking quantum algorithms to powerful new machines, 2023 was a year that sent shockwaves through the world of science and technology. Hello, and welcome back to QuantumFi. In today's video, we'll celebrate the Quantum Day 2024 with the quantum achievements of 2023. So let's get started. A thousand qubits hurdle was crossed. One notable achievement is the creation of quantum computers with over a thousand qubits, the basic building blocks of a quantum computer. Atom Computing made history by being the first company to reach this significant milestone. IBM followed suit shortly after with its Condor processor also exceeding a thousand qubits. This process is truly remarkable when compared to just a few years ago when developers typically had access to machines with less than 10 qubits. The availability of several hundred qubits for development purposes is now more common. While truly practical quantum computers will likely require millions of qubits for complex tasks, the latest advancements show promising progress towards that goal. As technology continues to evolve, the goal of building large-scale quantum computers continues to seem more attainable. Death of NISQ A recent research breakthrough by scientists from Harvard, Stanford, and QERA Computing has the potential to significantly improve the quality of quantum computing services. The team developed qubits that can function more effectively as logical qubits. Qubits used in current devices operate in what's known as the NISQ, Noisy Intermediate Scale Quantum Regime, where errors and noise severely limit their functionality. This new development raises the possibility of more powerful quantum computers and could signal the beginning of the end for the NISQ era. The introduction of generative AI. AI has been grabbing attention lately, particularly with the rise of generative AI. This is significant because many experts previously doubted AI's ability to deliver truly valuable results. The success of AI chatbots like ChatGPT has surprised many and suggests a similar outlook shouldn't be applied to the field of quantum computing. In 2023 alone, several large language models were released by companies like OpenAI, Google, Mistral, and even Elon Musk's XAI with their Grok system. This trend is expected to continue with more AI services likely to be launched in the near future. There's also a growing connection between machine learning and quantum computing, with a new field called quantum machine learning emerging as the intersection of these two areas. The birth of a new term. Traditionally, the number of qubits has been the standard way to measure the quantum computer's power. However, IBM has introduced a new metric called quantum utility. This goes beyond just qubit count and focuses on a quantum computer's ability to perform complex calculations that are impossible for traditional computers. IBM Quantum and researchers from UC Berkeley recently published a paper in the prestigious journal Nature showcasing the real-world value of quantum utility. This study demonstrates how a quantum computer solved a problem that would be incredibly difficult or time-consuming for even the most powerful classical computer. This breakthrough highlights the potential of quantum computing to revolutionize various fields with its ability to tackle previously unsolvable problems. Commercial Quantum Computers Rigidi, a company involved in quantum computing technology, has announced that it will begin directly selling its hardware for research purposes. This is a significant development as it makes quantum computing technology more accessible to researchers. They're offering a 9-qubit superconducting quantum processor called the Novera. It's important to note that this is a very specialized research tool and not intended for personal use. The Novera comes with a hefty price tag of $900,000 USD. It's worth mentioning that Rigidi is not the first company to sell quantum computers. SpinQ, a Chinese company, offers a desktop NMR quantum computer with a few qubits for a significantly lower price of $5,000 USD. However, the capabilities of these two machines differ greatly. Big Intel enters the quantum race. Intel stands out in the quantum computing industry as a major chip manufacturer that also builds its own quantum computing hardware. Unlike competitors like AMD or NVIDIA, which focuses on quantum simulation software, Intel directly creates physical quantum chips. Intel's commitment to quantum computing is further demonstrated by its development of a comprehensive quantum software development kit. 
This SDK allows developers to run simulations of quantum computers and work with real quantum hardware. The newest version of the SDK uses a familiar programming language like C++, making it easier for mainstream developers to get involved in quantum computing. Intel also leverages its extensive experience with traditional semiconductor technology by developing silicon-based spin qubits for its quantum chips. Recently, Intel released a new 12-qubit research chip called Tunnel Falls and is making it available to researchers to help advance the field of quantum computing. Amazon, the next quantum leader? Amazon's Bracket service is expanding its partnerships, aiming to become a major player in the cloud-based quantum computing market. This move mirrors Amazon's successful strategy with their popular Amazon Web Services in the traditional cloud computing space. In 2023, Amazon introduced Bracket Direct, providing users with faster access to quantum processing units, eliminating the need to wait in queues. Hardware providers, much like software vendors in the traditional cloud space, are increasingly choosing to partner with Amazon and offer their services through Bracket. Prominent recent partnerships include Quiera, IonQ, and Wolfram, indicating continued growth of the quantum computing offerings available through Amazon Bracket. And that was it for today, guys. Hit like if you enjoyed our video, comment down what you want to see in our next video, subscribe to Get Quantumfied, and stay tuned as we'll be back soon with another important video. Till then, keep watching Quantumfy.